Hey everybody, um, just a little update on my window farm here. Ooh, as you can see, the plants have completely taken over. I'm amazed at how much they've grown in this thing. Um, as you see in the previous video, they were all pretty tiny little guys starting out, and now huge, crazy taking over the window. Um, you can see, look at this tomato here. This tomato plant has a couple of little red tomatoes on there. Really excited about that. I've never grown tomatoes in here before, so I didn't know how much they would work, but as you can see, they're loving it. Um, look up here, they got huge clusters. There's tons of clusters on these guys. Everywhere you look, there's a cluster of tomatoes. I mean, I'm going to get a huge tomato harvest off of these guys. They're everywhere. Um, also, you can see the peppers are doing really good. I've got a couple of peppers growing here. Look at that guy. He's getting big. I'm going to let those grow for a little while, but they're all over. You see them everywhere on there. The Thai peppers, there's a million little of these little pepper guys growing, so those are going to get really bright and red, which will look really nice in the window. Be delicious. Uh, you can see up top uh, that pesto up there on the right side. I've already harvested it twice and got um, uh, made pesto from it, so that's really awesome for the basil. You see the mint, nasturtiums, been using that, the thyme down here, been cooking with it a whole bunch. You guys want, you can check out my other videos, kind of see how this works. Uh, it's just a, a bead of water that gets pushed up those hoses up to the top. It's all soilless, so it, it drips down from one plant to the next. You can see there it dripping. It's all fed kind of by a reservoir here at the bottom with some nutrition, you know, nutrient solution of water and hydroponic nutrients. Some people were asking about how I made these uh, planters. You know, they're actually made from a hummingbird feeder. I kind of got it at the dollar store and uh, cut off the top here of the hummingbird feeder, unscrewed the part where the actual feeder sat in it, kind of glued this little guy on to decrease the hole size a little bit. These are like little kids' toys. All together, I'd say it cost $20 for the whole setup for the planters. Wanted something a little nicer than just plastic bottles. I used the plastic bottles for my last window and, and it worked really well. I just wanted something that looked a little bit more permanent in there. For those of you about uh, growing in plastic, I know that's always a big concern. You know, if you actually look at the things, they don't really actually have much contact with the plastic. They actually grow in these little clay pellets. So the roots rarely ever actually touch any plastic. Um, they kind of just grow in those clay pellets. So they just grow in clay. So it's only really fed by a plastic tube. Kind of like you water your home garden with a you know, plastic hose. It's kind of the same thing. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. These plants have just taken over in here. They're getting huge. Alright, I hope you like it. If you have any questions or anything, just post comments and try to get to them. I'll let you guys know how these little tomatoes taste. I'm going to pluck them today. They are bright red and ready to be eaten. Alright, that's our window farm.